Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another tutorial on uh, our FPS game that we're busy making. Um, okay, so this is where I left you guys off, and here, uh, let's just take a look where I left you guys off. Okay, if you could walk, you can run, sprint, do whatever the hell you want. Um, damn, okay, he jumps a bit high. We'll fix that later. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it so that your animations move at the speed that he's moving. So, um, I think right now I could run into a wall and show you. Okay, so you can see right now I'm hardly moving and he's still sprinting. What we're gonna do for that, we're gonna uh, go ahead and create a variable player boss control. <laughs> Cool name, huh? Character. What is it? What is it? it was character controller. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Character controller. Character controller because this is our character controller. Sorry, I'm just here to speak to myself. I'm going to click and drag this into our character controller variable we just made, which isn't there. We had saved. Okay, so character controller variable right there. You want to click and drag the first person guy into there. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Variable uh, character velocity. We're not saying that yet. Okay, now in update. You want to go ahead and say character velocity. Is that in the right place? Yep. And we're practically going to set that to. Oh, excuse me, just uh, burp there. We want it to be. Where is it? Here it is. Player boss. And the velocity. And the uh, magnitude. Okay, I just realized. Not velocity, it's mag. Let's just call the character mag. Save. Okay, so now character mag is now equal to that dude's player boss, the boss. Control the script, and oh, it's basically saying how fast we're moving. Ah, okay, so let's go down to uh, down here. We want to go play. Actually, I can just copy that one. Copy paste animation then we have our braces not curly braces yep that's right normal braces okay let's copy that let's uh, paste that in there because basically inside the braces is the name of the animation you want to change and then dot speed because you want to access the speed and we're going to set that to uh, let's have a look let's just minimize these what do we want what do we want we want walking speed no, 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 no. One character mag divided by walking speed. Okay, now this should work. Let's just go ahead and copy this and paste it in there and do that back one and delete that random line and make a random line. Uh, except we're going to change this to sprinting speed. Um, and change this to sprint animation. Okay, now if I've just typed everything right and you have just copied me by everything I have done, this should work. Let's go ahead and play. Okay. It seems like it's working. It's only going as fast as we're going. Starts off slowly and then heads up. Okay, now for the final test. Ah, perfect. Okay, I think it works now. Okay, sprint into a wall. He stops sprinting because we're not moving. So the animation plays by how we're moving. Um, okay, that's just quickly stopped the gun from going through the wall. So file, save scene. I've actually just done this episode and like... I was meant to make a whole episode on this, but yeah, okay, let's... Uh, we can quickly modify my gun. No, no, wait, wait. We need to create a game object. Create other camera. Ok, 
Okay, now with this camera, what you want to do, you want to click on main camera, game object, uh, align view to selected, then click on the camera you just made. Let's name it gun camera. <laughs> okay, gun camera. And you practically want to drag that into the first person main camera. You want to drag that into the main camera. And while you have it selected, hit game object and align with the view. It'll basically move it to your view, which you moved your view to, yeah. Okay, now we want to change the culling mask to nothing, so it views nothing as you can see. And we want to create a layer. Where is our gun? Our gun, there's our gun. Layer, and we want to add a layer. Now be careful with layers, you can only have up to 31, so let's look at this. Guns. Guns. Uh, just leave it as guns for now. And uh, let's go back into the spectre and set its layer as a guns. <laughs> yep, that's right. You set it as a guns. Color mask, you want guns. So now it'll just show our guns. Okay, so. Um, crap. Okay, yeah, so clear flags you want to set it to don't clear so now it's practically like that and on our camera the main camera the big bells you want to set it so that in culling mask you don't want it to show guns wait hold on if we go back to gun camera it shows that depth only okay not to don't clear go to depth only okay so now if we play shit where'd it go <laughs> That. Okay, go back to gun camera. Solid only. No, no, that just breaks it. Depth only. Wait, yeah, there, it works. Crap, what have I done? I just broke it. Okay, so play. Holy oh, crap. Okay, we just wanted to show guns. We want that to be 0.1. Is that forward? Random path I don't use player settings. Um so I don't know why this camera isn't actually uh should be showing both cameras at once. This is the main camera. As you can see, it's got a tag and everything. Where's its it change that to that one? Uh, okay, skybox. Okay, but this is the main camera. Wait, this is making complete... What? Oh, it's right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the... F oh, oh, crap. Okay, so let's... Depth only, no. Solid color, skybox. Okay, I said play. No, oh, nothing happened. Uh, okay, I actually do not know why this is not working. Hey, anyway, why the hell is it? Okay, well, just I'll find out how to do that next. What? Okay, well, hold on, let's just try it with the gun. Okay, gun camera. Okay, let's put that on. No, it might be shown to you. No, it seems good. Okay, let's walk into the wall. Crap, yeah, you guess that's it. Gotta find out a way how to, like... I can't remember how to make it show two cameras at once. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... We're, well, we practically got to set up, so in the next I'll look at my other games and find out how I done it and remind myself but until then we still have this gun here my spector the awesome spector as it is now uh, we want to create a game object a cube yes a cube hold on we want to center the big the big one you want to center it so double click on it in the hierarchy 
Now we create the cube, which we then make really small. Lift it above the ground, move it a lot forward. And yeah, bingo, looking nice. Yeah, this gun's looking sick. Let's thin this out a bit, bend down a bit, and across. Yeah, that's right, this gun is, it's the next big gun. The army is actually going to make this gun, I swear down. This, if they don't, then I, I will be upset. They would have upset a civilian. Move that up a bit, because it usually moved up. Okay, now let's play. Yeah, yeah, crap. <laughs> Cube, let's drag it into the spectre, because it's now part of the spectre. Layer, guns. Play. Yes, that's right. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, you guys are just jelly. Okay, so we have our aiming there, but we also need one. Let's uh, duplicate. Oh, wait. Hold on. We can't. We need to set the rotation back to zero for now. Okay, control D. Okay, now control duplicate that, move that over. Control duplicate that, move that to the other side. Nice, thick. Move this one down a bit. Okay, now if I'm right, you should be able to. Not too much. Probably. You should be able to look down that, and it should be in line with that. How can I look? Okay, go to the Z axis. Yay! Yay! Okay, that's. That's kind of perfect. I mean, I uh, don't like to compliment myself, but I think I've done a good job there, right? Okay, which one's the... it's the... no. Fair play, it seems good. Ah, okay, the gun's looking pretty nice, if I'm honest. Let's just uh, create a new folder, and let's call this Materials. Oh, you guys can stop watching this episode, by the way, if you don't want to see me mess around, but... I'm just making my gun look nice. So, materials. Let's uh, go ahead and create the material. Gun. Yep, that's right. Gun material. Let's make it red for now so I can see what I'm coloring. Put that in there. Put that in there. Let's uh, put that in there. Let's put that in there. Oh crap, I've got to get a couple of those. No, I can't see anything. Ah, crap. Where did, where did I just put it? Okay, so I'm a bit. Okay, let's put that in there. Put that in there. I guess that's nice and red now. But we want it to be specular. 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 Yeah, specular. That's right. I said specular twice. What are you going to do? Okay, so we could have shininess. We want our specular color to be white. Nice and shiny. I don't just take Nothing's happening. Okay, there's a, there's there's the shine. Yep, yep, that's right. That shine. Okay. Well, there's that. I'm just gonna save this scene now. I got my gun and everything. I'm gonna make it a little bit more black. That'll do. Make it a little bit more shiny. Let's play. And there's my gun. Yeah, it's looking. Nice stainless steel metal. I uh, forgot to do something. Okay, on these cubes, remove the box collider. Oh, not his trigger. Remove collider. Remove collider. Remove collider. And crap, what's the other one? Is that one? No, that one. Yes, yeah, that one. Remove the collider. Okay, so now we can move again. Okay, so I'm going to save the scene, and uh, thanks for watching, uh, stand by for the next tutorial. Thanks.